there. I'm Robert from Hike Yakima, Washington. And I got a little video here that is related to hiking, even though I'm not out there showing you a trail or something, but it has to do with a wood stove for backpacking. So it's a really neat stove because it's from Russia and I got the package from Russia. It's got all kinds of writing in Russian and it's pretty neat. So I figured, you know what? I'll just open it, make a video of it and uh, share with you guys um, what it looks like uh, right out of the box. Uh, it's a really neat stove and I wanna share with you why I decided to go with this stove instead of uh, some other ones that you can get out in the market like uh, uh, some made in the US or uh, even China. So here it is, here's the box and I'll go ahead and open it for you. So this is the Russian wood stove that I ended up buying off of eBay. This is their ad. It's $2.99 plus $40 for shipping and tax. So I ended up paying like $3.66 for it. It took about a month and two days for me to receive this stove to my place. Let's look at some pictures here. So there it is. And something that I, I, I really liked about this stove here is the design. Um, if you can tell, there's hardly any, and I don't think there's any actually, like nuts and bolts to put it together. So it's all hinged at the corners and on the sides of the, the main panels. Uh, I like the fact that it's got some reinforcement um, ridges here. Um, it's got a spark arrestor. Most of the stoves don't have this uh, type of spark arrestor. Sometimes they have like, uh, a little screen that you can put in there, uh, but I think this is this is just a better design. Uh, there's a lot of little details in uh, in the design that make it so you don't have to have any type of screws or bolts to put it together, and that's that's huge because when you're out there, uh, you don't want to be you know messing around with you know a bunch of bolts and nuts uh, and possibly you know dropping some of them and losing them. So this one doesn't have anything like that. Uh, an expedition where they uh, used it. See the stove coming out of the tent there. Um, more pictures. Close up. They provide some rings that are kind of flat instead of the uh, some type of a, a steel or titanium cable that some of the other ones uh, provide. And this is just a picture of where they they would use something like this in Russia. Uh, some detail uh, work and you can see some of the craftsmanship uh, of the design. So let's just really quickly read a little bit of the description of the stove here because it's kind of interesting. Uh, it says this stove was designed and made by one of the best Russian ski expedition guide. The most popular stove for ski expeditions, Lake Baikal, skate race and backpacking for about 30 years in Russia. No equal on the market of weight and compact. So I do believe that because the, the way that, that this thing is, is put together, uh, it, it, you can tell that people know what they're doing. People that are you know, in Russia in the cold weather have been you know, working to put something like, like this together. So I'm gonna show you that and I'm gonna open it and hopefully I got what uh, we're seeing on the pictures here. All right, here we go. All right, so here is the paperwork. Titanium collapsible wood burning stove. That's it, that's what I wanted, collapsible stove. So let's go ahead and grab it up.
if I can open it. And unfold it. Okay. Look at that. It's basically put together there. Okay. Because you gotta put it together with the rods. So look at the design. So basically the rods go through here. They stay on the outside of the stove, but hold the whole thing together. Isn't that ingenious? That's pretty cool. Okay. So let's put it together right now. Let's get a, one of the rods. Put a little tape. That's it. The rods have a, a stop here and another stop here for the bottom plate. Line it up. Put it through there. And that's that side is done. So this side. Put all the panels inside the end cap. And then you put the rods through it. You're done. So no. Okay, so this, you start there, and then you turn it, and that locks it in place. So that's really neat how they came up with that little design right there. Um, so everything about this is just uh, ingenious. So let's take a look here. This is the door and the way it works it has a little latch that uh, goes underneath the rod here so you go in there and boom, that's locked in okay so then you open it it's got a nice little hinge here uh, it appears to be titanium completely everything the hinges everything and that's the difference between this and some other ones that I've seen that have some other components that you can tell they're not titanium. This is all titanium. So we'll look at the inside. some uh, some pencil markings on here so you can tell people you know worked on this by hand of course they all have to be done by hand but there it is this is the back of it spark arrestor so the spark arrestor the idea is that you would have your stove in here, which by the way, this where this works, let's see if I can take it off. Um, so this would go in here the same way that the rest goes on there like that. Stove. Once you fold it up, 
It's got a little hole here that lines up with this little um, lip here and it goes into that. So that locks that. So see, there's nothing that you need to use, not, no vice grip, nothing like that. I've seen some other ones where they have like little nuts and bolts to put it together. This is all like built in. So that's, that's why I think it's really neat uh, the, the way they, they designed it. So, you know, you can tell they've been working on this for uh, many years. The website says 30 years. So, you know, and I totally believe it because they came up with a, you know, a great system for this. Uh, so, so there it is, guys. I, I really, really uh, am pleased. It's exactly what I was expecting. Uh, the way this spark arrestor works, uh, you would have uh, gases coming out of this and then going around this way. And if there's any uh, type of ember or spark, it would hit this area here, fall down, and then uh, gases and smoke would go up the chimney without any uh, sparks. So that's the design of that. So you can see the, the hinge there collapses. Absolutely no hardware whatsoever. So. There it is. Uh, I'm gonna make more videos on this stove uh, in the future. I'm gonna put it to use and I'll let you guys know uh, how it works. Uh, I just noticed uh, some of the, the finishes. Um, I like to work with metal so I understand exactly what they're doing here. They, they sanded and they rounded some of these edges so that there's nothing really sharp. And I love that. Uh, bottom of the legs, the same thing. They're all uh, rounded nice, so they're not gonna cut you. Uh, even though this could be pretty sharp stuff, nothing seems to be sharp to the touch. But I will be making more videos on this stove. Uh, and I also have another video coming up that has to do with another titanium uh, thing that I have. And uh, I'll take a little uh, sneak peek of that little picture and tell you what, what's about. Uh, it's another titanium item. I'll tell you on the video where I got it and uh, some of the details on that. So uh, if you haven't subscribed and you wanna keep watching this kind of stuff, uh, go ahead and do it. And I'll have some other, other videos coming up with that. Uh, this stove and some other stuff that I have uh, out in the field. All right, so that about wraps it up. I uh, hope you liked the video. Uh, I'll keep you updated on how it goes. And uh, I'll talk to you later. And see you soon, hopefully, on the trail. Quick look at the next item I'll be talking about in the next video. This titanium shovel. I'll let you know where I got it from and what it's for in the next video. Talk to you soon.